Well, here we are back at Pillings, ready for another cruise. A lot's happened since the last video. Most importantly, the birth of Ralphie, a healthy baby boy, and Judith and I's second grandchild. So we've been busy looking after Finlay and generally helping out. And things have been happening to Dreammaker as well. This is the engine board, which has had a big revamp and a big wadge of sound insulation has been uh, glued and screwed onto the bottom of it. It's a lot heavier, let's hope the engine's a lot quieter. Well, that does seem a lot quieter. And of course, the board's had a complete repaint, so it should be good for another 10 years. Big cruise starts in a few weeks. We still haven't decided whether we're heading north or whether we're going to go down to the Avon. We'll decide before we leave though. So this is another little cruise, this time to the pub at Normanton. We've just got a little awry. We've come to see these nice little trees over here. It's blowing and shallow at the edge. Well, it will be, won't it? Hello. <laughs> Teach me to mess with the GoPro when I should be turning a corner. <laughs> He's messing with the camera. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thank you, and you. It's turned out nice, so we decided just to go half an hour down the road. I mean, <laughs> the canal. again just love this mooring fantastic so uh, I think we'll stop here and head off tomorrow better than sitting in a marina and just bumped into Steve and Helen out of Pillings viewers of this channel God bless them they're not many of them on their wide beam the happy beaver heading to the same pub so we'll probably see them again tomorrow <laughs> yeah, that's the trouble. We're having a new one soon. Look, this is quite new. Is it? Yeah, it looks new. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Mr. Pickles. Travels. Yeah. See well, you soon. Okay. Yeah. Maybe see you later, yeah. Is the happy beaver? Yeah, it's lovely that plumwood. Well, here we are on the way to the pub. How do you do that in a narrow boat? Well, stay tuned and let's see. Pete's just got this. 
out of the lock. So it was stopping the gate opening properly, but anyway. This is just huge, absolutely huge. Look at it. Right. Now that's how we can get on with the hunting the lock. Share a lock with the doubler. Still a fair amount of flow on the saw. Um, although uh, we haven't had that much rain recently, we have had some and it still gets closed, so uh, it should be a fairly quick trip to Normanton. There's the chain ferry actually working. Beautiful spot. Lovely couple on the boat uh, behind us moved their boat to, so we could squeeze in. And there is the Plough Normanton, where we're meeting friends later. Apparently it's very nice. A pub on your doorstep. Who could wish for more? And we've moored up next to Billy Boy. Um, they kindly moved, moved up um, a bit so we could squeeze on. They're sitting under a tree. So, as usual, we're off for a little explore and the first thing we're going to do is see if we can get across the river on that chain ferry. How exciting! And here we have Mike chain ferry operator extraordinaire who's pulling us across on one human power. Across the river Saw. Across the river Saw. Fantastic. Seen this so many times, never been on it. Thanks Mike. You're very welcome. And what has happened to that cloudy afternoon the Met Office was predicting? A real bonus, absolutely glorious. Um, and there's Dreammaker resting by the pub. Just walking down the secret little footpaths of the village of Haven before we strike out towards Zoch. Just leaving Haven now. The noise of the cricket match behind us. Across the stints back to the river at Zoch. It's a very hot and thirsty day, and there is a pub at Zoch. Here we have the river at Zoch. Remember, this is the bit of the saw that's uh, chopped off by Zoch Cut, the bit that's uh, navigable, but only as far as the weir. And there's a site for sore eyes the Rose and Crown. You may ask yourself, why walk from one pub to another? Well, you feel less guilty having a beer when you've walked a few miles. Cheers. That is a hot Judith. <laughs> and here we have 
our own little pub with our mooring. Morning. Well, time to leave this idyllic spot with its views and its pub where we had a really nice meal last night with friends Judy and Ian. And we think we'll head on up the river, turn round somewhere, and probably end up at our favourite, or second favourite mooring, in Zoch. Quite windy today, as you may notice, so we'll have to see how we go, especially turning round. Should be fun, possibly. See you later. Hello. Hello, doggies. <laughs> Looks like he's been in. going to stop here but it looks lovely so change a plan let's spend a day in these fairly rural idyllic surroundings rather than uh, back at the old Zotch cut which looked pretty crowded when we went through and uh, well it isn't quite as nice I don't think this is glorious this ones. So, the thing about boating and walking is just a few miles can change the countryside and although we've moored at Kegworth and had a walk and we've moored at Zoch and had a walk, this place in between gives us access to some different footpaths and also the village of Sutton Bonington. So it's a fine afternoon, let's go exploring. And here's the Otter, Riverside Pub and Garden. Can't get there by boat though. Uh, presumably it's the road traffic that they exist for. You'd have to swim if you're on a boat. So let's strike away from the river and see what's this way. Oh, 
take them off. Are those dirty flies? They ain't always going now. Oh. And here we are, just coming into Sutton Bonington. And this one's for Dave, avid viewer of this vlog. There is the University of Nottingham, Sutton Bonington campus, site of the School of Biosciences and the School of Veterinary Medicine and Sciences, and where he used to work once upon a time, many years ago. If there's one thing Judith hates, it's walking across a ploughed field. Oh well, nothing for it if we're going to get to the pub and the boat. Just coming back into Sutton Bonington through this uh, really lovely little uh, what, graveyard associated with this little chapel. It's St Anne's. St Anne's, Judith just told me. Well, because that's Cheers. Suitably refreshed, let's press on towards Soch Cut, which is down here. Back on the cut, and some inconsiderate idiot has just steamed straight out of this lock and left the gates wide open. Honestly, you know, how long does it take to actually nip back and close the gate? Don't worry, we'll do it for them. Good deed done. Probably some wide beam gin palace. Nearly at journey's end. There's Dream Maker moored up, waiting for us. And uh, I think we'll get in there and have a bit of a chill after that six and a bit mile walk. <sighs> Home at last. So I think we've had the best part of the day. Got a bit cloudy, beginning to rain a bit. Time for beer and Pringles. Mm. Well, it's the next day, and here we are cruising back through Zotch Cut on our way back to Pillings. Uh, we had a lovely cruise, great to moor up at that pub, two fantastic walks and a bit of exploration of the Upper Saw beyond our usual destination of Zoch. As usual, it's a there and back, but next time, hopefully, we'll be setting off for real and there'll be no coming back till October. Hope you enjoyed this little video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, Bye for now.